What's going on guys? I did want to mention real quick before we get started with this video that I'm hosting a giveaway right now for an entire gaming setup. I've partnered up with SteelSeries for this giveaway, so all the products in this setup will be SteelSeries brand. Really cool opportunity to win a whole setup for free. I know Christmas is coming up and a lot of you guys are trying to get into the world of gaming on a PC and a lot of you guys will be getting PCs for Christmas. So this should help you out because the first place winner receives a keyboard, mouse, mouse pad, headset, 144 hertz gaming monitor and nano leafs. Super simple to enter and it's completely free. So just go to the first link in the description to check out that giveaway. There will be a link to the website where you can find all the information as well as a TikTok video that I made with a full explanation. The giveaway submissions close on October 25th, which is a little over a week from now. So if you guys are watching this video in the first week that it's released, you still have time to enter. I'll be choosing the winners live on my Twitch stream on October 25th. So be sure to stop by there and find out if your submission got picked. But let's get into the video. So much drinking me, wonder if you missing me These days I can't fucking sleep, just bear on my here living dreams If I send this text to mine, sorry is you down to star Don't say not tonight cause you be busy, tell another lie I done seen this thousands of times, I retype like thousands of lines We done did this thousands of times, so I ain't tryna choose another time Sorry, tell me now if you be really tryna start Tired of this shit, yeah, finna flow on my wrist I guess I will start here since this is like my main setup. Um, we'll start with the PC. My PC is almost perfect. I've upgraded it a lot over the last year or so. So right now I am rocking a Vision 3070 with a custom GPU backplate. This is also uh, hooked up to Corsair IQ with the fan hub so I can control this in IQ, syncs it up with the rest of my PC really nicely. I have a Ryzen 7 3700X for the CPU. This also has a custom backplate on it that is synced up to IQ. I just have this on a constant color though because I think it makes the backplate look really cool. Um, I have a B550 motherboard and 32 gigabytes of white Vengeance Pro RGB RAM right there. Six Corsair LL120 fans. I like everything Corsair so that I can sync everything up and make it look like this. Um, I have some white cable extensions and this Kilo sticker. I think this thing is really cool. I think it adds a lot to the PC. I got it for like $15 on Amazon in a three pack. So it was really expensive, but I do love the way it looks. So in my eyes, it was worth it. All this is in the Lee and Lee Dynamic Mini. Uh, the Lee and Lee 011 Dynamic Mini is the snow white colorway. And on top of that, I have a pop figure of King Shark from Suicide Squad 2. I think he carried that movie. He was an incredible character, I loved him. Um, and then just like a fake plant. Basically these are only here to block the cam link right here that connects my camera to the PC because that's a really ugly cord. Um, so that just kind of blocks it from the front. And before I get the comments, I can't put it in the back of my PC, I can only put it here. Um, on top of that, I have a Galaxy projector right here. All this does is makes the background of my stream look cool. Um, it looks really cool because I have autofocus on my stream. So if, like if I delete this, you can see it looks really cool in the background now. So that's basically how it is when I stream. I think it looks really dope, makes the background just look a little bit more alive than like a blank wall. Um, moving on to the monitors. My main monitor is an Alienware 25 inch, uh, 240 hertz, one millisecond response time, IPS panel, all that good stuff. It's an amazing monitor, one of the best ones you can get right now. I have seen that 360 hertz monitors have started to come out. I don't think I'll ever get a 360 hertz monitor because I can't run 360 hertz while I stream, so it's not really worth it for me. Um, and honestly, I'm fine with 240 hertz. It's not even that big a difference from 144 already, so I don't see the point in getting another step up. Uh, for this side monitor, this is a 27 inch curved 60 hertz. I just use this for like chat and OBS, um, so I don't really need like an amazing monitor here. This used to be my main monitor back a long time ago. I think it's actually 75 hertz because I used this on console a while ago. Um, I think the curved monitor looks really nice though for vertical because it just kind of makes it an easier angle to look at like this from the for the very top or bottom parts. So I would definitely recommend getting a vertical uh, for chat. My top monitor is a 24 inch 60 hertz from Alzai. I use this one for Discord and Spotify when I'm streaming. It's very unnecessary to have three monitors, but it is nice if you're a streamer to have that extra accessibility. So I can see who joins the call, who leaves the call, drag people, see if I'm muted or unmuted, stuff like that. Um, and it's just nice to be able to see the song playing. Again, it's unnecessary, but that did get sent out to me by Alzai, so I wasn't gonna, you know, turn it down. Um, all of these monitors, I get this question a ton. These monitors are connected with monitor arms. This one is just from Amazon. It is the mount up brand it's i mean it's perfectly fine i don't know a lot about monitor arms there could be a better one out there it works um i also have a very very tall monitor arm right here to connect my top monitor i'll have this one linked in the description because i get a ton of questions about this one obviously i couldn't wall mount my top monitor because there's no wall so i had to just get this ridiculously tall monitor arm 
I will say, don't mount three monitors unless you have a support in the middle. I had to get this because my desk was starting to sag really badly. I just had too much mounted there. Um, so definitely get a support if you're gonna mount all your monitors. This Alienware monitor is also with a mount up, the same one as that one over there. Uh, I use the same monitor for both of those, or the same monitor mount, and they work perfectly fine. Plenty like adjustable and all that. So that's how I mount my monitors. A ton of questions about that. You'd honestly be surprised. Um, moving on to the mic setup, I have a Shure MV7. Um, I'm sure all of you that watch like Twitch know what the Shure SM7B is. This is the newer version. It's a little bit cheaper and sounds basically the same when hooked up to an audio interface. I have it hooked up to a GoXLR Mini. I love this thing. Um, and I have it on a uh, Blue Compass. That's what it's called, Blue Compass Boom Arm. I love the Blue Compass Boom Arm. I think it's the best Boom Arm on the market. Although honestly, Elgato's new Boom Arms look pretty cool. So I might have to try one of those out. Um, I have an Elgato Stream Deck right here. This is super helpful for Twitch because as you can see, it has all of my scenes on it. So I can just switch back and forth between scenes right here. I can mute uh, my mic. I can use a panic button. Basically this clears chat, turns on emote only. In case anything ever happens, I just clear the entire chat, delete all the messages, and it turns on emote only. So this is a lifesaver when I get like hate raids, stuff like that, because those have been happening a lot. I have a button right here that basically just tweets out and says I'm live. Uh, if you haven't followed my Twitter, go follow my Twitter. I have a clip button right here, and then these are just all my scenes. Uh, this pulls up my Twitch channel. This is more scenes right here. Um, super helpful. I use it for some other stuff too. I used to use it for school, but yeah, I basically just have like some Chrome apps on it now. Um, just mute, deafen, some random stuff like that. This is a clock, uh, obviously. I get a ton of questions about this one too. This will be linked in the description as well. You can literally just search wooden alarm clock on Amazon and it'll pop up. It doesn't flick like that in real life, by the way. That's just like on camera. I like it a lot. Yes, I have clocks on my monitor. People tell me that all the time. Why do you need a clock when you have a clock on your monitor? Yes, but this is tiny and it doesn't even show up when I have a game up on my screen. It's not necessary, again, as a lot of these things in the setup are, it's not necessary, but I do like it. Um, it's like 10 bucks, so why not? Just a cool thing to add to your setup. Over here is where I have my camera set up. This is just a mount from Amazon. It just attaches to my desk, it goes straight up, and then this is a ball head mount, so it's adjustable to whatever angle I want. It'll also go higher or lower, it's height adjustable. Um, so yeah, I have my camera set up here during stream. My camera is the Canon M50 Mark II. I have a Sigma 16 millimeter lens on it and it works great for stream overkill but i love it i use it for all my youtube videos too definitely one of my favorite parts of my setup uh, for my stream lighting up here i have a softbox this basically carries my stream lighting i sit right here so this carries my stream lighting it gives perfect lighting for my face this is honestly just to light up the other side of my face because this comes from an angle and the other side doesn't get much light so this is just like a 30 dollars ring light from amazon it's also on the same mount as this, both of those mounts are the same. I'll have those linked in the description too. Um, but yeah, that's the only stream lighting I use. I don't have like any more ring lights behind me or anything. This works perfectly fine for me. Eventually I might move some things around, get some new angles, but for now, works great. Uh, I have this little galaxy globe right here. I get a bunch of questions about this too. I will link this in the description. Basically everything, if you have a question about it, it'll be linked in the description. I think this thing's pretty cool though. It's like 15 bucks, it can change colors and I think it just covers up these boom arms, just kind of makes it look a little bit more clean. Um, for my keyboard, this is the Drop custom keyboard. I built it. Um, Drop actually sent out all the parts for it. I'll have the full uh, kit linked in the description. And it has laser Mito Science switches. I like it a lot. I do have two more custom keyboards that I've built, and I switch between these sometimes. This one has really clicky switches, and this one has some Holy Pandas. Uh, but for now, I'm using the Linears. I like these a lot. I just like it because it has RGB, honestly. I just think it looks the coolest. This is a random coiled cable. I don't remember where this is from. Uh, you can just find these on Amazon, though. This is probably the best mouse setup that you can get on the market. It's a G Pro Superlight. I have some grip tapes on the side and then some Tiger Ice Feet. If you know what hyperglides are, these are similar to hyperglides, but I think they're a lot better. Give a really good glide, and I love this mouse. Uh, I'm still bad at games. I'm like Gold 3 in Valorant which is my main game right now. Um, so yeah, I still suck, but this mouse is pretty nice. For the headsets, I have a SteelSeries uh, Arctis 7 uh, wireless. It's in white, I like it a lot. I do have Arctis Pros sitting over there, but I haven't hooked them up yet. Um, I had a couple problems with them, so I need to figure that out. I have some replacement ear cuffs on these. They're a little bit bigger and a lot more comfortable. The old ones gave me a headache because they were too small. So these are from Wicked Cushions. Those will also be linked in the description. 
Uh, let's see, the mouse pad. This is from Gutsy Aiden, the absolute best mouse pad brand there is. I love his mouse pads. I have three more sitting over there that he just sent me today. I need to make a TikTok on those. And I have like seven more of his pads in my drawer. I love these mouse pads. I've been using them for like the past eight months through every new colorway, through every new design that he releases. Cannot recommend this mouse pad brand enough. They're a little bit pricey, but I promise they're worth it. I love them. Um, Let's see, the desk. The desk is the Ikea Eck back and countertop. I think it's the 71 inch, it's 70 something inches. You can find it on the Ikea website. I'll have a link in the description too. Um, I love this desktop. It's a little bit basic now. You know, Tech Talk kind of really popularized it, but I do love the look of it, the marble finish. And I think it looks really, really, really good for like white and lighter colored setups. I have two Ikea Alex drawers here, really basic desk setup. I got this idea from Random Frank P like four years ago when he released his first video talking about his desk setup. He had a wooden desktop on here. Um, so I went for the all white theme. These are just some desk risers from Amazon. You can just go look up like desk riser on Amazon. They'll be there. These are the four inch ones, I'm pretty sure. And basically what these do is give me a little bit more height on my desk because my chair is pretty uh, pretty tall. So I need an extra height here. And then it's just some storage. So here I have my Xbox, this is an Xbox One S. I hardly use it anymore, but um, I used to use it all the time before I got a PC. And I have like this marble wrap on it. Uh, it looks pretty cool. Over here, I use this space to manage all the cables that I don't want to deal with. They basically just sit under there, so they're not on the floor. Um, for my L desk, this is a sit stand height adjustable desk from Flexi Spot, and this is an IKEA Linmon countertop. I had to actually cut down the edge. You can see over here, like I kind of cut it with a with the buzz saw because it was too long. Um, but this is what I use for my L desk. I definitely recommend getting an L desk setup if you're thinking about it. It's super helpful to not like have to put all your crap on this desk and to have this other space. It's also really nice for stream background since again, my stream angle looks kind of like this over here. Um, so it's nice to have this for the background, have this plant here. And uh, I think I love, I love my stream background. I think it looks pretty cool. Right here is a MacBook. This is one of my most recent purchases, like big purchases. This is the new 2020 M1 chip MacBook. Um, it's a 13 inch, it's the base version with all the base stats. I use this for editing, you know, Premiere Pro, Photoshop, After Effects, Lightroom, all that stuff. And then I use this like every day for school. I have this adapter thing on it. Definitely recommend getting one of these if you have a MacBook. It has two USB ports, uh, an SD card reader, micro SD card reader, two lightning ports, and an HDMI port up there. So definitely like a must have for editing and stuff like that. I have a keyboard cover on here, I'll link that one. And I have a skin on it. This was originally silver but I have this uh, skin, I think it's from Sticky Bunny is what it's called. It's just a white, uh, like, it's not a case, it's just like a wrap, kind of. I forgot what it was called, I think it's just called a skin. Um, I think the all white looks a lot better. And I have another one of these cute little stickers here. It's the same one that's on my PC, I got a three pack of these for 15 bucks. Um, so yeah, this is my MacBook setup, I like it a lot. I am actually gonna be building a productivity setup over there in my room in a couple weeks, so stay tuned for that. This plant is from Ikea, really random. I actually, when I was filming this video where I surprised my friend with his gaming setup, I went to Ikea to pick some stuff up and I found these on the checkout. So I bought like three of them. Um, I think it looks pretty cool, just kind of sits there. It just kind of adds some life to my setup. Um, I like it a lot. Right here is a RGB floodlight. I definitely recommend these if you're a streamer, YouTuber, anything. RGB floodlights add a ton to your background. They make your walls like change colors entirely. I have another one over here to add lights onto this wall. Definitely, definitely recommend them. As you guys can see, my wall is like this gray color. It doesn't really look like anything special. It's just a normal gray color. But then you turn over here and it's cyan. And I can change these to any color I want. I used purple for a while. Um, I'm messing around with some orange recently for Halloween. I think it looks pretty cool. So yeah, these are some LED strips. I forgot what brand, this was like eight months ago, um, but they are like a custom coated ones. So they have this cool effect running through them. I think it looks pretty cool in stream background. This is an LED sign from Luminosity. Luminosity has the best LED signs in the game. They have a ton of designs. So definitely go check them out. And this right here, this is pretty interesting. Let me go walk over there. This is one of my favorite projects that I've done. Basically, I took a bunch of hexagon foam panels from Amazon, like just the soundproofing ones that everyone has in their setup. I glued a bunch of them together and I put LED strips behind them attached to like this cardboard piece that's holding it all together. And it makes like this kind of glow behind it. I get a ton of questions about how I did that. It's literally just an LED strip that goes around the uh, entire perimeter of it. But it looks really cool. You can't see this part on stream because the desk kind of hides it. 
Um, I think it looks really cool. I get a bunch of people that ask me, they're like, yo, what's that black hole in the background? I just, I love it. I think it adds a lot. It's really unique. I got this idea from Fall Info on TikTok, uh, if you want to go check him out. Next up is this area over here. I actually filmed some YouTube videos here with this chair. Like I sit there and film videos with this in my background. This is the Govi Flow Plus light bar. It's something like that. I'll have that linked in the description. I think it looks really, really cool. It's connected to the Govi app, which has a bunch of custom like LED effects. This one's called Ocean or something. I think it looks dope. Adds a lot to my setup over here. These are two floating uh, shelves. I think they're called command shelves and I have two little Ikea plants on here. I got these from Ikea too. They were at like the checkout stand. Um, it was an impulse buy, just like that plant. Ikea is pretty good at making me impulse buy things. Um, but yeah, I think this looks dope. It's just kind of a chill area on this wall. This wall was completely empty beforehand and I wanted something so I could like film videos with this as my background. Basically I set my camera up over here, pointing this way and I sit at this desk. Now this is my background, so I think it's pretty cool. In this corner, this is kind of a mess. I usually just keep all the products that I need to film videos on over here. So for example, I have a SteelSeries XXXXXL mouse pad here that they sent me. I wanna make a video on that, I think it'd be pretty funny. I have those three Gutsy Aiden mouse pads that I'm gonna make a video on soon. Uh, Apex Pro TKL that I need to unbox, some more Govi products, that new headset I was talking about. Basically just all the stuff that I received that I'm gonna film videos on later that week or something that I haven't gotten around to yet. Um, I've had a few of these for a while because I've been pretty behind on my video schedule, but I promise we're getting more consistent. For my chair, this is the Autonomous Ergo Chair 2. This was a $400 chair that they sent me. I wouldn't really recommend it, honestly, because this bottom part gets really, really hot. It's like this thick, like plush material. I don't even know. It's, it's comfortable, but it gets really hot. Whereas this doesn't because it's got like this like clear, like see-through kind of, and air comes through this. So it feels really comfortable. I love the lumbar support here. It's an ergonomic chair. So obviously it's super good on like my back and everything. This part just gets too hot for me. So honestly for $400, I would not recommend this chair. I'd recommend getting something cheaper that's like all mesh. Um, but I'm not gonna complain because they did send it to me for free. And I'm not gonna go like spend a couple hundred bucks on a new chair when I have one that works. But yeah, I think that's basically everything in my setup. I think I covered everything over here and everything over here, even everything in my background. If you guys have any questions, if I missed anything, feel free to leave a comment down below and I will get to that as soon as I can. And that's gonna be the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed, remember to drop a like and subscribe. It does help out the channel a lot more than most people probably think and helps to push my video out to more viewers. If you wanna stay connected with me, you can find links to all of my socials in the description as well as a link to my Discord server where there are a lot of people that are very eager to meet you. If you're looking to upgrade your gaming setup, don't forget to enter in the Slush X Steel Series gaming setup giveaway. That will also be the top link in the description. And right next to that will be my Twitch streams. I stream every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday right now, so be sure to drop by there. We're on the road to partner. Expect a lot more content on the lifestyle side of being a streamer and content creator, so that means a lot more vlogs coming soon. It's a side of content creation that I really want to start experimenting with more, and I feel like I can really express myself and my personality inside that kind of content. So yeah, if that sounds interesting to you, remember to drop a sub. All that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one.